Are you something? You sure are. We're maxed out on scrap again. Alright, let's see what I can... I'd have to actually craft something to use up scrap. You can't just... You can't dedicate scrap. I can craft one of you, right? There we go. Scrap consumed. Welcome to my inventory. Let's get back to the med kit. Oh, I missed that, didn't I? I don't think I looted that. Oh, or maybe it just has batteries in it. Oh, no, revolver ammo. So I didn't open that. Oh. More scrap waiting around for me. Alright, guys. Ripley's home. Ooh. Updated map. Nice. Yep, and there's pretty clear layout of where to go next. And also, apparently, another side room I can check out full of other things. Full on scrap again. What can I do to make use of that? Can we craft another Molotov? No, we can't. EMP mine. Nope. Pipe bomb. Nope. We lack certain core components. Oh, med kits for sure. Those are obviously useful. There we go. Making use of what I got. Oh, hello. More scrap. Can I, I can probably craft another medkit, right? There we go. That's like the one thing that's likely to get built. I've neglected building them for a while, I think. There's more ethanol. Nice. Wow, I walked in and didn't even notice half the stuff that was on the floor when I first came in. Because there was blinded by the chest. R.I.P. Sevastopol. Oh, there's the people. Oh, yeah. People that died here. Shit. That, what? There wouldn't be hostiles in here, right? It's the marshal's building. Calm down. Calm down. We're safe. Yeah, they're Waits working. Yeah, they're they're cooperating with weights. Really? His fucking plans haven't done us much good so far. No one's shooting me so far. Okay, cool. Cool. Did we'll be safe here. For now, anyway. So we found like the only people that are on that are actually cooperating and not all murdering each other right now. Or at least, well, not really. Everyone's factions, they're just people that are in my faction. Hi. Was that you? Did you get the transit running? Nice work. She's constantly in battle stance. Just like all the people that are normally patrolling to kill you. Seriously, does every guy the same person in this game? I can't... Are you, do I know you? Or do you just look identical to every male character I've seen so far? Oh, you look different. Is it because you're... Do they, are they trying to express an ethnicity? I can't quite tell. Maybe not. Cause they, like the, he's the only guy that's looked different so far, and I'm like, oh, is, is it? Did he, does he look? Does he only look different because they had to make a black guy? So I was wondering if maybe that guy was a different ethnicity too, but I can't actually quite tell. But yeah, the, all the white dudes have looked like the same person like five or six times in a row now. It's gotten weird. Like that guy looks identical to the guy that's the guy I came here with practically. They all have like the same haircut and facial structure. I guess only this door opens? There we go. How's Taylor? Stable. Should be walking soon enough. Samuels is with her now. Okay. You managed to get transit up and running, so I guess we're even. Where's Ricardo? Prepping our next move. Look, I'm busy. I've got Marlowe in the cells, the lowlife who showed up with your flight record. Where's Marlowe's ship? The Anisadora. He put it in a parking orbit around the gas giant. Son of a bitch won't give us the command codes to let us bring it in on auto. Maybe you can get more out of the unhelpful bastard. Go talk to him. Oh. Seems awfully important. He's controlled the piloting element, and he's controlled... Uh, and he's the guy that has our brought our recording in the first place. He might even know what was on it before it got corrupted, if it ever was not corrupted. Which is a big if. My big hope at this point is that we've got a whole bunch of humans together for the first time in the entire game. Uh, this is the part where in Alien 3 or Alien Resurrection you try to have a plan. I guess in Alien 2 they had a whole squad of people shooting everything. Yeah, it's, mo all the aliens except for the first one. Obviously this game's modeled after the first movie, so it doesn't really make sense to lean on any of the other ones as examples, but... Uh, this would be a good time to have a plan. For the one time you have a group of people together before they all die and you cease to have a group of people together. I'm gonna try to be thorough here, make sure we find whatever's around here. What is that? A toy? A weird scrap of weird floating thing? <laughs> it's like a piece of paper is floating above the ground. What's in here? 
Oh, it's a door. <laughs> it's a locked door. I, I thought it was open. Whoops, I feel silly. Oh, injector. Oh, that's probably the guy I'm supposed to talk to. Are those both objectives? Nope, the only objective is to talk to Marlo. Alright. Let's see if I can check in on our injured friend. That's locked. Hello. Thank you. Nope, shelves look clean. I think that's all we're getting out of this stuff. That door is locked. Is this where their... Yep, that's where our injured friend is. See, that that's where the guy is. It looks just like the other guy, but you can tell this is the one I came with because he's with he's with the uh, injured girl. Slight hints here and there. Marlo? Who wants to know? My name's Ripley. I'm with the company. Here for your empty box already? You guys are keen, I'll give you that. I'm here for personal reasons. My mother was on the Nostromo when it went missing 15 years ago. You serious? Shit. Well... Shit. We never found her ship, Ripley. Just the recorder. But you sure as hell found something else. What happened out there? I need a way out of here, Ripley. Maybe we can make a deal. Just start talking. I want to know everything. Com check. You get me, Lewis? A little fuzzy, Marlo, but you're coming through. Let's take it slow. I want to get to that beacon in one piece. If you're looking for a piece, Foster, I've got something for you right here. I'd need scanning equipment to find it, Heist. <laughs> okay, enough already. Focus on what we're here for. I don't want any mistakes. Well, this is different. We're playing as a different character. I didn't even know that was a thing in this game. Oh, there's no re no reason to look around then, though. There's no supplies, because I'm not playing as Ripley. It's a flashback. There you are. Foster, Meeks, keep your eyes open. Roger. Well, here's a change of pace, huh? The, dire the direction needle points to your objective. Which was the direction needle? There's a direction needle? None of them seem to point any directions right now. You guys seeing anything so far? Oh, and it, it wobbles when I'm facing my objective. Is that what you're getting? Oh, there we go. Lewis, have you managed to decode the signal yet? Negative, I can't tell what it is. That's good. If it's a mystery, then it's unknown. If it's unknown, then it could be valuable. This could be our biggest haul, Marlo. Could be. Well, let's get going. So yeah, they're trying to salvage or discover or just find something valuable. And they're probably going to find a giant alien ship going by the plot of Prometheus and Alien in every single movie in the series. <laughs> Pretty much. The only reason you do an outside of ship thing was a different character that's a flashback on a thing that has an alien on it would be to establish how the alien got there and if that's happening we're probably going to find one of the alien ships it'd be really funny if it went up on that side and started rolling at us and everyone ran away from it in a straight line like idiots instead of getting out of the way like in a certain movie in the series that's canon now <laughs> god damn it Charlize Theron just all you had to do was turn Check out those rock formations. Bizarre. They've been weathered by the climate conditions. It's just their natural state. Ain't nothing natural about this place. Well, charge of that all through there. I'll have a look around. See if I can find a weak spot. Wait here. Find a route around the blockade. Alright. So we're trying to go this way. Gonna need a lift. Heist, over here. Give me a leg up. Hello, familiar names. We heard about Heist before. Let's do this. Yep. I found a path. Checking it out. What if you don't come back? Then you wait some more. And I die. Yay. Now, welcome back to horror mode. I'm playing as a character who could 
is now separated and alone. Close one though. Don't think I'll be able to get back the way I came. Just watch yourself, you hear me? What the hell was that thing made of that it's able to withstand all this constant blowing, but when someone's stepping on it for two seconds makes it fall over? I don't know about that, man. The geologist in me is questioning things a little bit. That's fine. It's fine. We're We're doing our cinematic midpoint of the Call of Duty campaign mission. Which, funnily enough, is usually something that involves somebody in a spacesuit. <laughs> Fisher in the rock. Stand back. I'm gonna blow it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you actually don't really need the sensor at all, because you can only really go in... The whole level seems to be hallways so far. Sensor's cute, though. They had to make that. I'm always happy to see more weird little machines in games. It's fun. Alright. Yes, I'm holding red mouse button. Yes, I'm holding right mouse button. Am I not far enough away yet? Oh, there we go. <laughs> that, was, that was some very 2D smoke flying my way. I don't know if you guys saw that, it was like a low frame rate, low resolution, like pixel art, smoke plume flying at my face. Let's get going. Follow me. All right, let's get going. That's cute. They had to make a bunch of different assets for such a short mission, so it's always... Give me a leg up. The effort's always... nice. Heist? Which one of you is heist? You'll look the same for me. I guess he just wants to go stare at a wall and they want to go stare at a wall. They both just want to stare at walls. Okay. I guess they got bored. that texture down there. So this whole area has light matrix but dark rocks. Oh, there it is. Yep. You think it'd be reacting a little bit more. I guess he's being quiet for the orchestra to be all dramatic about it. But you think he'd be a little more dramatic about it. <laughs> Alright. Is it over? Or no? Oh, here we go. I guess we skipped ahead. Okie dokie. Hello. Are we closer to it now? We're so wordless, even though we've we've apparently discovered an alien spaceship of some kind, like something totally crazy looking, and no one thinks this is an interesting topic of conversation to pursue right now. It's fine. I'll do it for you guys. I'll just talk to myself. But wasn't that crazy how we saw a giant, crazy, like Geiger monster ship? That was crazy. I wonder if the things inside of it are simulations of penises or vaginas or or childbirth or all of the above. Maybe it'll be a penis that turns into a vagina. Maybe it's a penis that gives birth to a vagina. Reverse psychology biology. <laughs> okay, seriously, why is it so silent? Guys, giant spaceship. Be a little excited or vaguely interested. Those are vagina doors. See, I wasn't joking. That's just how they do this. Geiger was like, you know what's really scary? Everything about childbirth. Something grows inside your body, you, it distends outward, and then it prob and, and then it maybe kills you when it happens because a huge percentage of living creatures die during childbirth when they're giving birth, but also hum a lot of humans did until we got better at the whole science th and medicine thing. What the hell do you think we're gonna find here, Mama? 
something big. We made it until we got inside the ship for anyone to say anything about the ship's existence. <laughs> that's that's weird, right? I'm not crazy. I can't be crazy. That's weird. We think we, we're not used to aliens yet, right? Like this should be like awe-inspiring or something. Uh, maybe they find alien wrecks a lot, but that seems slightly odd to me too. Oh look, there's a box. That's an oddly human-looking box that's in the middle of the ship. Uh, is that supposed to be there? Oh, right, because we're going to find the flight recorder, right? Is that what's going to happen? So, like, there's... So humans were on this. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Careful with what you touch. I don't want anything damaged. It's amazing. How old must this be? What is it? A cockpit? And make this a ship. Ha-ha! <laughs> I think we found our payload. Hey, quiet! What? You think we're going to wake him? Hey, sorry, pal. Can it! We're wasting time. Have a look around. It's a life form. It was a life form. Now it's our property. Salvage rights. We need to stake our claim before anyone else does. And East Thor is not prepared for something this big. Then we'll take what we can and come back. Have a look around, see what else is here. Mama, we found something. Tracks. Tracks? It looks like something was dragged. But that's not all. You're not gonna like this. What is it? The tracks lead here. Same name that's on the flight recorder. Nostromo. Maybe they abandoned ship and landed here. I can see that. Shit. If they were here before us, why is there no record of this place? Well, if they're still alive, there goes our salvage. Let's find out. I'll find the beacon and shut it off. Don't want anybody else finding this place. Foster, Heist, check out the cavern below. There we go. That's some rough territory. So, I, this must be the exact ship they found in Alien. This? I've never seen anything like it. It's not human. I'm telling you that. How'd you guys get up there? I was trying to find a way up there. Oh, we just climb. <laughs> That's never been an option before in this game. Look at you. There's the engineer and his weird, like, space gun looking thing. And people have hypothesized that that might not be what the what the engineer looks like. Like, that might not be its body, but it might be like a weird, like, space suit that it's encased within. That lets it fly the ship. Without having, like, an atmosphere inside the ship itself. Oh, look at that hole. That's intimidating, huh? Yeah, those are a lot of human supplies everywhere. Huh. Those are human, right? Yeah, that's, that's, that straight up says fragile. Yeah, so that's a nice detail then. They actually put the Nostroma's equipment on here. Not even just there, but also like little boxes scattered here and there in tiny spots. Just to emphasize the previous human existence. Alright, let's try to... I guess I gotta go through the vagina door. There's no, there's no space here. All right. Yeah, that points to the objective. Yep, let's go check out the door and try to shut off the beacon. Oh, they haven't been attacked yet. If no one's in danger yet, I bet somebody here gets face hugged. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna, we're gonna witness how the alien got here, but by which I mean, like, we're gonna see. Oh, it's the woman, right? Yeah, it's gonna be the woman. We we saw uh, medical logs or heard, and heard medical logs about a woman who got chest bursted. So the woman, it's gonna be the woman on this expedition. She's gonna encounter a face hugger and get taken out, and they're gonna try they're gonna try to take her back, and they're gonna try to fix her, just like it happened in every time somebody has a blind in encounter with the aliens. And then uh, that's that. She explodes. The aliens on board, and then we have our alien on the ship. And then it presumably does what, what they always do, which is that they try to start building a nest of some kind. I found the beacon. I'm gonna check it out. Hello. Yeah, that's not a distress beacon. That's bait is what this is.
That was a bad idea. I don't know what happened, but the beacon stopped broadcasting. Marla, you have got to see this. It's amazing. On my way. It's absolutely... Yeah, that's how these work. A beacon draws you into the middle, and you have to physically go inside past the birthing chamber in order to turn it off, which means that then the, all the egg sacs are going to be between you and the exit, pretty much guaranteeing that somebody gets infected and the process begins anew. That's what's going to happen, right? I'm going to go back in that room and now there's going to be... There's going to be eggs everywhere. No? Yes? No? They put a light up. Oh! Is that the bottom of the channel over there? I thought they were going to all come out of the ground or something around here. All the spines for freaky. I said... I assume that's some kind of tubage that links everything together. There's like little worms everywhere too. The texture here is freaky. I think that might be tubing that runs the whole ship and it's all just kind of buried in a mud or... that. I don't know if it's like... I don't know if it's like a cooling texture or if it's like zerg creep. <laughs> I won't, I'm not the most informed uh, alien person ever. I've just seen all five movies. This place just keeps on giving. Here, strap yourself in. Oh, you are just... You guys are just walking, talking, bad idea people, aren't you? Alright, uh... There we go. This does kind of strike me as a thrill-seeker kind of job, though. Yeah, all the walls are wet. It's like touring the Moaning Cavern after a rain where everything looks all wet and chocolatey everywhere. But this is creepier because it is drippy. Oh no. Yeah, I think I was right about the girl. Not sure I want to go down there. Surely anyone would look at these things and think they're eggs and be a little concerned about that. Oh no. And there is the Alien Isolation origin story. I want to know more. Everything. Where's your ship? If we can break the comms lockdown, what are the codes to bring it in on auto? If you want more, then you need to get me out of here. Not happening, Marlo. Is that right? Well, you know where I am. Wait. My board in the text file just lit up like a Christmas tree. It's here. Plan B. Set it up. Whatever's happening, I want in. Okay. This way. Got something here you'll need. All right, what do you got, buddy? Oh, that's a flamethrower. Oh, that's a big deal. Oh, that's a big deal. Okay. First of all, put off the story for as long as possible while searching the room for stuff. Yay. I gotta look like a crazy person when I ignore the obvious thing in the room and start picking up. <gasps> like, I, like, imagine Ripley being like, <gasps> You have bonding agents! Oh my goodness, that's your secret plan, I'm so happy! And then I'm like, no, Ripley, there's a, there's a flame, there's a flamethrower, like, on a pedestal with, like, a light shining on it. Had you not noticed that? Let's hope this thing works. It's an animal. Animals are afraid of fire. I hope you're right. Well, you better be happy that the scriptwriter agrees with you, because otherwise you'd be dead for thinking that. I've got a plan to trap it. Take a transit car and meet Ricardo in the Sistech Spire. I'll coordinate from here. Oh yeah, no big deal. What could go wrong? Just gotta believe, right? 
Can I can I visit you guys? Yeah, the door's open now. How are things going in here? She's unconscious, I think. Yeah, she's non-responsive. That's too bad. Got some suits in here. Don't think I can interact with much in here. Oh, here we go. Wait, we should talk about what happened in San Cristobal. Now, it was a nasty business, and I understand that you want to deal with it as quietly and quickly as possible. But I wanted to make sure you didn't do anything rash. I'm talking about catching the specimen without killing it. If we play it smart, we could be set up for life. I have the connections. I can set it up. You're getting old, weights, so you can't do this forever. And what are you going to do when Sevastopol closes? You have my number. Ransom out. Well, trouble. That's trouble. Oh, does he think he's going to catch it alive? After all that's happened, does he think he's going to catch it alive? Because that's going to be how we don't... That's going to be how this game continues, I guess. Is I imagine we set up a trap, we try to catch him. We, it fails because he doesn't want to kill it, he just wants to capture it. But of course, if you don't capture it, it doesn't work that way. And then it, then uh, it gets away again and we all escape. We have 500 flamethrower fuel. Hello, buddy. Don't know how much 500 is, but I'm happy to have it. Can't make the next noise maker, but I can commit stuff towards it. Just to free up our inventory a little bit. How about Molotovs? Need two sensors. Did I just... I just did that with my noisemaker, didn't I? Yeah, I did. That's my bad. Well, I can put the ethanol down. That's primary purpose. It's a bonding agent. It's one of the things I need to sh shave down a little bit. Here we go. And there's our scrap. Right, keep looking around. Any other doors that are open now? What do you got for me? Impounded. Week beginning of November 11th, 2137. Don't have to guess which way the no date works because they're both 11. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ammunition, weaponry, various, level 3, plasma shear, well Newtani propriety flight recording unit. There's the big one. Brought in by Marlow. A USCSS Nostromo. Marlow also had a watch, wallet, personal effects. Suspected contraband, medical supplies, Feramex, nap relief, no duty stamps. So there's all the stuff he had when he, they brought him in, when they, when they imprisoned him, basically. Some kind of parasite. The funny thing is that as long as he's been in here, he's probably been safest because he's locked up. But eventually the alien would find a way in if it found him. Wait, it's Dr. Lingard. I've just examined a patient with, well, I've never seen anything like it. It's some kind of unknown parasite. I did a quick check on the name they gave me, and there's no one registered under it at Sevastopol. I think she came on board recently. Do you know anything about this? I have no idea what Sinclair and his men were doing, but this should have been picked up during quarantine. Who knows what else they've let through? The patient and her captain are waiting for me in the examination room. Get down here now. So they actually don't know... The woman that they brought in is not from Sevastopol, or she wasn't registered here. Interesting. Oh, wait, am I missing something? Did they... So are they from Sevastopol, or did they come on a separate ship? Because if they came on a separate ship, then we could have a way out of here, ultimately. That could be a big deal. Otherwise, maybe she just got there very recently, and that's why she wasn't registered yet. Alright, Marshall. What about this one? Nope, that's new too. Alright. What do you got in here? It's, a, it's the control room. And nothing to pick up. Just a whole bunch of really old looking monitors, because that's how they do in Alien Land. That special 60s, 70s, and 80s version of sci-fi is always specifically outdated in the most fascinating and fun ways. Even Star Trek, which was pra Star Trek Next Generation was practically the 90s by the time it came out, and even that one was, like, fascinatingly outdated in the most fun ways. 
and watching it nowadays is especially funny because you have like their weird ancient ideas of like how tablets and stuff like that would work and they're so minimal and can barely accomplish anything compared to what actual like devices we have now can do. That's always funny. So we can't get in there, but there is a box in there, which makes you want to get in there, so... Sure would like to get in there. Interesting how the door's in a completely different direction than the one we're in. It looks like an interrogation room, so you'd almost expect them to be near each other, but I guess not. Alright, let's just save and get out there. Hello, save point. Hostiles nearby. Interesting. Interesting. 